because he was convicted with priors, and the court ran that offense consecutive to one another. So I believe he had the state charge as well. All right. And were victims' rights complied with? Yes, Your Honor. They don't actually apply in this case because the victim wasn't testified. Okay. Ms. Kucha, do you have anything to say on behalf of your client? I certainly do, Judge. I think it's absolutely preposterous that we should send Mr. Lozano to prison for a consecutive term based on the facts of this case and based on the circumstances I'm going to tell you about. Mr. Lozano is going to be 18 years for a very serious offense that he went to trial and he lost the trial. That being said, this case, he popped another hit in the face while incarcerated, while he was having an argument with an inmate. Now, the pre-sentence report indicates that there's no word from that inmate. So there could be word from that inmate if they would have sent him a letter on whether he's in prison or not here. The only reason we're here today, Judge, is because Mr. Lozano pled guilty to that offense. And it was common knowledge that that other inmate was not going to go forward with prosecution. I believe Ms. Lincoln had a rival case because there was an absolute independent witness that proves the assault. That being said, it's also important for you to know that the trial that he was going, that he was attending, he was acquitted on June 1, 2001, and Ms. Lynn was the prosecutor in that case. So I think we have a little bit of sour grapes here as well because there are significant mitigating factors here that you should consider and so that you should not give him a consecutive sentence. Can you excuse me just a moment? Okay. First of all, Mr. Lozano, although he has several prior cases. Hey, hey, hey. Is that a right thing to do? Judge, may we approach? Adam, could you come up for a second? Did you just put something up at the desk? No. Oh, I apologize. I don't know what's going on, Judge. All I know is the deputy just took something from the podium. I think we need to recall that. I don't know where it was taken from. I didn't just get a letter from Mr. Lozano. Any other letters I had? No. All right. Actually, I think let's just put this on the record. Go back to the podium. And just for the record, I'm going to be also addressing my deputy. May I just say that any letters I receive from Mr. Lozano, I receive through regular jail mail. I got here today to receive the sentencing. I showed him his pre-sentence report. I took out the staple. I showed it to all of these deputies. And I got the pre-sentence report back. If they just took any materials from my podium, I want to know what they are. Excuse me. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I'm going to go. This is the first time in 10 years of practicing law that this has ever happened to me. I want to know what they took, why they took it, and what's going on. I also obviously need to set this for mitigation hearing. I need to reset sentencing. And I want to know what was taken from him. Deputy, can you give us any clue about was something taken right off the podium in front of the defense counsel? Yeah, your paper looks right there. Your handwritten. Okay. Well, all of my materials in my legal file are work product. Any materials I have in my file are work product. If I'm being accused of any kind of wrongdoing, I want to know exactly what was taken, why it was taken without my permission. Ms. Kuchak, I think you should just take a deep breath and calm down here a little bit. All right? I would like to hear from any of you. So did you take something off of the counsel table, Deputy? I just want to know what's happening. That's all I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, just a handwritten letter that was written out of the file. You don't get to do that. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, perhaps we need to reconvene elsewhere. I don't really want to make a show or production of it. It's really not my style. But I also want to make sure that there's no retaliation here against Mr. Lozano. And I want an investigation on what was taken from my family. Okay. Well, I do want to just say for the record that the deputies in my courtroom are responsible for courtroom security. I agree. And they have quite a lot of leeway to do what they think is necessary in a situation. Sitting here, I'm not sure what exactly is going on either. But maybe we can talk about this, as you said, in another location or another time. Let me just say this. Anything in my file is work product. Tell me what it is. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
asking for any privileged information. No, no, I'd go into my thing. I was searched on my way into this building. And if they had any questions as to the contents of my file, I'm certain they could have asked me. All right. Well, that's something we can address possibly at another occasion. And so did you say that you're asking for a mitigation hearing? Well, I don't think I have to right now. And perhaps there may be some other motion I might need to file as far as the representation of Solisano, depending on what was taken, why it was taken, and how we're proceeding. Can you just tell us that again? Well, obviously, she's asking for a mitigation hearing this morning. And there's, I don't know what was taken from the papers over there, but if it's something that's going to be presented to me, then I don't really see how we can go forward with sentencing right now. Okay. Before we do that, I just need to correct two things. I was not the attorney on doing the trial when this occurred. This was another set of attorneys, so I wasn't present. I just need to correct that because she did mistake that I was the attorney doing this trial. All right. Well, if we get a mitigation hearing, we're going to start over anyway, so you can both say whatever you want to say that day. Okay. I'm not taking notes of these particular issues really between the lawyers at this moment. All right. So we'll just reset this for a mitigation hearing. And 30 days, counsel? What are you asking for? Judge, 30 days is fine, but I want to know why the deputies took this material from me. Okay. Ms. Kucha, as you said yourself a few moments ago, this is probably something we should take up separately from this proceeding. So I want to know as well, but we'll find that out after we get this proceeding taken care of. We'll get the mitigation hearing set. 30 days? That's fine. All right. All right. Does that day work for you, counsel? I don't have my calendar with me. I wasn't anticipating this, but I will be here. All right. Ms. Lynn? That's my name. All right. So we'll see you again, Mr. Lozano, on November 18th. I have a whole lot of matters that I need to complete this morning, and I also have a trial starting in an hour. So I would like to talk to you, Ms. Kucha. Ms. Lynn obviously would want to be present as well, I'm sure. I do, but I have to go to coverage and judge Hannah. All right. But I think we'll have to explore this at a different time. Do you all want to come back tomorrow? Sure. Just stay there for a moment. I don't have a judge, but I'll be here. All right. So, Ms. Lynn, can you be here tomorrow at 8.30? All right. Can I put it all the way across to 9? Like, what does that mean, 8.45? 9? You want to make it 9? I would prefer to make it 9. All right. Ms. Kucha, that works for you, 9? Yes, ma'am. All right. So 9 o'clock tomorrow. And any chance to waive your client's presence for this, or do you want your ---- He does not agree to waive his presence. He would like to be here. All right. You know what? Actually, I can't do that because I don't have any custodies tomorrow at 9 o'clock. So I can't do that with him present. So let's look at that first week in November. All right. I'm looking at November 3rd. November 3rd. I'm not here. Okay. Can you send somebody else since you're not really involved in this particular ---- This is not the sentencing. This is just about what went on with the papers. Okay. This is my issue. The deputies will be represented by Phil. I realize it's not my issue. But what are we going to do? I mean, that's my issue. I mean, I need to know what she wants done because it's my understanding that he gave her back the letter. So ---- Did you give her back the letter? Yeah, we gave her back. Okay. So you said you didn't want to discuss this on the record, so I'm going to honor that request. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you